Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So last week I was procrastinating on Reddit and I found this question about GitHub deprecating passwords. So it inspired me to do this video and talk about how to add SSH certificates to GitHub since the only guidance there is is kind of like their one doc page that they have in the GitHub docs. But first, let's talk about why SSH certificates. In the past year, there have been many GitHub compromises exploring company source code. This might be caused by people using bad passwords, hence GitHub deprecating passwords, and people not taking proper care of their tokens and SSH keys. And that's why GitHub has enabled SSH certificates, which if we quickly describe them, they're basically SSH keys that expire. And they basically work by being a regular SSH key that you create, and then you sign it by another SSH key and adding some parameters such as your GitHub username and an expiry date. And so this allows you to create a time bound certificates. And if a key is compromised, the time and scope of the key is limited. Let's look at how kind of like how GitHub guides you to do it. So in here, you just have to create an SSH key, which you do with SSH key gen, and you would create a CA key. So everybody went ahead and created those. We can see them here. So I have my CA key and my product key. So if I want to sign my product key with my CA key, I can just run this and it says say key gen sign and then the CA name, key identity doesn't really matter. It can be whatever, it's just for the logs and everything. And then we add the extension called login at github.com equals my username. Then I'm adding a validity period of one week. So that's plus one week. If you want one day, it's plus one D and so on. And then I'm adding my prod public key. So if we run this, we'll go ahead and create our certificate. And we can check it by doing SSH keygen slash LF and then the certificate name. So here we can see that it's a SSH certificate and it, this is a public key and it's signed by this CA and the key identity, we left it as default. Serial number, we didn't enter anything. So it defaults to zero. And then it says that it's valid until a week from today. There is no principles, no critical options. Those are used for other types of SSH login. And then in extensions, there's a login at github.com and then an unknown option. So that's my username. So now we know how to create it, but if we try to access GitHub with this, it's not gonna work because we haven't set up GitHub to do this. So for that, we're gonna need our CA key. So we're gonna do a cat ca.pub. We're gonna copy this information and we're gonna go back to GitHub and in here I'm in my organization and in settings, we go to organization security and we scroll down to SSH certificates. It's important to note right now, only GitHub enterprise supports SSH certificates. So in here you have to add the set certificate of authority, the CA that we created. So we go ahead and add the certificate. And now our users that have a signed key by this certificate, it, it will be able to access the repo. And I actually like requiring SSH certificates so they can't log in with any other thing. So like tokens or anything else, that's actually how we have it at Ketos. Speaking of Ketos, full disclosure, that's a company I work for. We noticed that this is a very manual thing and that there is no infrastructure to actually support SSH certificates for GitHub. So we expanded our easy SSH tool to also support GitHub certificates. So basically, all you have to do is go to easy SSH. Once you have created your subscription, if you haven't created that, I'll link the videos in their YouTube channel, which you'll hear my voice because I work there on how to create all that. And basically once you have that, you just have your CA key that is protected by an HSM in Azure. It's not exportable and it's only for your own organization and you have the GitHub access certificate length. So this is the access that, that you set your users. So like in here, we have it at eight hours, which is actually the default that we use internally as well, because eight hours is usually what the engineer works. So the engineer might come in the morning, do a pull or a commit or something, get a certificate, and that should last them all day. And then by the end of the day, the certificate will expire and they will no longer have access. And then the next day they just repeat it and it's fairly simple. So all you have to do is copy that key and go back here into security, add a new CA, click add. And then once you have added it, 
you and you have downloaded the easy easy ssh client into your device we support mac and windows right now you just do easy ssh git easy ssh in the background will go get your corporate identity that is usually secured by mfa and all that stuff and if it's the first time logging in it will open a browser and ask you to log in and it will go request a certificate for the length of time that your organization set up and then you'll have access but first to show that we currently don't have access to the repo we're going to go to here and we're going to try to do a pull i'm using tortoise git to show that it works with any git if it works with a ui one it for sure works with the command line version so if we pull it says error this repository requires ssh certificates for authentication contact the owner to receive a certificate so now if we go back here and we click easy ssh git i have already logged in so it'll just go ahead and request a certificate and get it back so as you can see it says github identity created successfully so now if we go back to our repo and we do a pull it'll work so that's how you add ssh certificates into github thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next